Despite recent violence, ca violent cases in Kansas City, the murder rate is plummeting. KBC 9's Haley Harrison sat down with city leaders today for a conversation about the new tactics behind that change. Haley? And Laura, we can really break down this story into three different numbers. 106, that is how many homicides happened in the city last year. 72, that is how many homicides have happened this year. It's a big drop. And of those, 17 homicides now remain unsolved. Criminals in cuffs. It's Kansas City's No Violence Alliance at work. But this new policing strategy isn't just about catching wrongdoers, it's about prevention. The very best service that we can deliver to this community is crime that didn't happen. Casey Nova's leaders sit down with me to discuss a drop in the city's most heinous crimes in 2014. Homicides are on pace to decline 30% since last year. Although we certainly have had some success uh, with bringing the numbers down, uh, none of us are here patting each other on the back and saying how great it is. They say half a percent of the people in KC, just a fraction, commit most of the violent crime. Casey Nova singles them out. You let them know we know who you are and we know who your friends are. And if you commit a violent act in this city, we're going to come after you with everything we have. In October, six-year-old Angel Hooper died in a drive-by shooting. The bullet was intended for someone else. The month before, five people were brutally killed in South Kansas City's Woodridge neighborhood. They're just a handful of the city's dozens of homicides this year. But in both, help from the public was crucial to finding those responsible. There is a lot of apprehension out there. The saying was, snitches get stitches. Um, but I think the community's had enough of the violence. Now, as part of the new intelligence tactics that police are using, they're also using social services to break the cycle of violence in our communities. Casey Nova's leaders also tell me they know that these new numbers coming out today do nothing for the families whose loved ones were murdered this year. Laura. And this year's homicide rate is expected to be the lowest since the race riots of the 1960s.